Hey guys, um, it's Songbird Times 4 coming, um, just to, I felt that, um, I guess I'm, I, I need a little bit of encouragement because, um, I came and I did a video a couple of days ago and, um, I've just been sitting here reassessing everything and I'm just, I, I really, it is time for me to get back on track. Um, my weight loss has completely like, I don't want to say, yes, I don't want to say stalled, but I keep like gaining, losing, gaining, losing the, the same five to seven pounds. And um, like when I came last time I was 259, then I went up to 264. And I keep, you know, going back and forth between that. Um, so, I'm getting ready to go and do me a two-mile jog. Um, like I said, with my work schedule, it has been completely and utterly difficult. And I am trying to find that place again where I do not allow any excuses to stop me. Um... My schedule is 2 to 11, Monday through Friday. And I am not a morning person. I don't like to wake up in the morning. Um, I just, it's very difficult difficult for me to get up in the mornings. Um, so, is anybody else on a schedule, working a, a third shift schedule or a second shift schedule and... How do you how do you um, overcome your workouts? And then on top of that, the gym that um, that we were going to is like 20 miles away. We moved, and it's like 20 miles away now. And um, and I work like 20 miles away. So I mean, nobody wants to go to the gym and then go to work sweaty nobody wants to do that so and then gas is high so I don't want to go to the gym come home and then go all the way back out there you understand what I'm saying um, and then the weather has been like so nasty like I've been you know you know since in place of the gym I would go outside to the local high school track and um, and jog there but the weather has been so ugly. I mean, it's like raining, you know. And I'm trying not to make any excuses like, you know, how a lot of, how they say women don't work out because of their hair. Well, that's not really an issue for me. Um, but then again, it is because everybody wants to look decent after you finish, um, you know, working out. And you put some clothes on and things like that. You want to look decent. And you don't want your hair all stringly and scraggly from sweat. So, um, but again, I am, my best success was when I let nothing be an excuse. So, um, what are you guys doing? How are you guys overcoming this? Because I did not go through all of this surgery and everything that I went through to lose 85 pounds and stick there. I want to lose another 70 pounds. And I'm kind of struggling. Um, I thought, you know, I mean, I figured that I would be, I guess, again, you go to comparing yourself to others. And, and it's kind of difficult not to. Um, I am, what, seven and a half months out and lost 65, 70 pounds since surgery. 60 pounds or so, 60 plus pounds, almost 70 pounds. And then you know the 20 pounds beforehand and I'm so close to that 100 pound mark that's like I I, I, I just want to see that um, um, have I been making the wisest food choices I don't I wouldn't say that they've been ridiculously bad but I think I know what it is I don't I because of my sh my shift I'm not up and I don't eat breakfast and I know for me that was one of the biggest uh, caveats with my weight gain was not eating breakfast. Um, 
so yeah I'm just trying to reassess and to start up another routine because like I'm still getting used to my schedule and just trying to get a routine you know because for the most part like my husband and I we work the same shift so um when we come get off work you know we're high telling it to daycare to pick up the kids to get them as get them home in the bed as soon as possible without interrupting their sleep so they'll be rested for the morning um the next morning in school um so yeah it's just been a little difficult just trying to um just trying to um you know, get in a routine and, and get my workouts back on track because I work out very sporadically, maybe once or maybe once a week, sometimes twice a week during a good week. Um, and I just I, I want to work out as often as I did. Like, you know, I was working out five, six times a week. And um, I guess I'm just going to have to kind of... Um, try to do it in the morning but yeah if anybody has any suggestions on what they do if you work a second or third shift how do you do it um i really like to know um because i want to get this ball rolling keep it rolling um i mean i'm satisfied with my weight loss but i want more um i at least want to get to 180 pounds so that's what right now that's like 80 more pounds or so yeah and then I know it has something you know I've started out at 346 and um, that has something to do with it but yeah to anybody who is contemplating this surgery make sure that don't think that you gonna come and get this surgery and that it's gonna do all the work for you no it is not you still have to watch what you put in your mouth you still have to work out and you have to be diligent. Just because you eat small amounts of food, if you eat small amounts of bad food all day long, it equals, I mean, you know, it's it's a waste. So don't do that to yourself. Make sure that you are committed to um, changing your lifestyle. Um, another thing that I'm trying to break myself from was eating and drinking at the same time. Um, yeah. I was eating and drinking at the same time. And I think that I have, I mean, I, I think that I've stretched my pouch out some. I mean, I can't eat insane amounts of food or anything like that. But, yeah, it's stretched. And I know over time it stretches. But, yeah. Um, um, so, just let me know if, you know, as far as your workout schedules and things like that. For those of you who work a second or third shift, I'd really like to know. Thanks.